I'm Elon Musk, the uh, creator of the self-combusting car. I developed a chip that if you put it in uh, the head of a monkey, it would chew off its own fucking hands. Uh, I bought Twitter because I realised there was a real need to create a safe space for Nazis, incels and conspiracy theorists. I'm 51 years old and I communicate almost exclusively via the medium of the meme. For the, uh, for the record, that is actually how he says uh, meme. It's just one of his many annoying traits. Uh, like the way he calls a gif a Jeff. And he calls uh, the removal of unsolicited dick pics from Twitter a huge conspiracy between the government and uh, tech companies to destroy your freedom of speech. <laughs> if you've not been keeping up with Musk's nonsense of recent, uh, a lot of this won't make sense. So just sort of take notes and laugh along with the people near you who are getting it. Um, so what am I getting at here? Uh, what I'm saying is, if Musk were to come wandering into my office like this sort of land-based manatee that he is, uh, looking for a job, sniffing around for a job, stones on him for coming into my office in the first place. But if he came in asking for a job and he sort of gave me that, that CV, I don't think I'd hire him. And to be quite honest, uh, to give this some context, a little while ago I hired a guy called Gary uh, simply because he could fit a whole rich Richmond sausage up his nose. And, uh, he used to claim that it would come out cooked, so we put it up 20 minutes later, that, that would be his lunch. Now, in my, in my defence, when you meet uh, sort of uh, talent that burns so unbelievably brightly, uh, you at least want to be near it long enough to get sort of singed before it burns out. Or, as happened to me, I actually got uh, second degree burns because it wasn't the sausage that did it for Gary in the end. Uh, internally cooking a sausage you'll never really get above sort of 36 degrees Celsius or maybe 38 with a flu. Um, so that wasn't what did it, it was actually uh, a full unopened tin of ravioli on a barbecue. Uh, bam! Slop, slop, slop. Ah! That's a very short reenactment of that day. I shouldn't really uh, joke about it, a lot of people died, and, um, and in a sense I do take, I take some responsibility, I should have, should have at least opened the tin. Um, but what am I getting at, what's the point I'm trying to make, lest I completely lose track of it, uh, it's that there must be someone better for the job. What is the job? Well, Musk has kind of, kind of positioned himself as the saviour of mankind, as a sort of Jesus Christ 2.0 sort of figure. And I think there's got to be a better person for the job. I mean, I would humbly throw my tiny but perfectly formed hat into the ring. Uh, I don't quite have the net worth of Musk, but if you were to round up my earnings uh, vigorously and for some, some time, you'd probably find I'm worth a similar amount. I think it'd take about a week of rounding up to get me out of uh, the negative numbers. <laughs> and probably six months or so to get me up to a sort of similar level to him, depending on how good the person is at rounding up. Uh, I'm actually really good at rounding up. I can go from like 97 to 300 without any bother. So, um, I've also invented things, so things that might or might not be useful to humankind. So I invented the uh, crisp sink, which is a sink exclusively used for rinsing crisps if they're a bit dry. So kettle chips, really. Uh, in honor of Gary, I invented the barbecue ball ravioli. It's essentially just one massive pasta sack that is filled with like bacon and cheese and gravy, whatever you put in the ravioli. Uh, we do recommend that you run away once you put it on the barbecue though, there have been some teething problems with that one. Um, and the really, really unpopular giblet dildo, which is, I just wanted to get some smut in there really. And uh, it's not been selling, I've got a lot of those, so if, if you're looking for an interesting and uh, inappropriate stocking filler for your parents, just see me after. Um, my point is this, during this time, uh, no animals or humans were hurt during my incredible years of invention, uh, unlike with Musk, uh, except there was, there was a monkey that chewed off its own hands, seemingly in frustration when I explained the crisp sink to it. Um, <laughs> Otherwise, that's it. I'm going to sort of end there. That really is the end of my interview. If you didn't realise that was an interview, uh, I very much, in my closing statement, would like to say, don't hire me for the job. That would be an absolutely dreadful one. But also, let's fire Musk. Thank you very much.